Traditional greetings are being elbowed out of the way because of the coronavirus. Instead, germ-free alternatives are sweeping the country, but not everyone is saying goodbye to the handshake. Jean Moose reports. If the now dreaded handshake leaves you shaking your head, no! Our doctors and our politicians are elbowing their way in, from Senator Dick Durbin to the vice president, and not just once. And there you go. Jimmy Kimmel has a name for it. It's called the elbow. Something Jimmy practiced with his sidekick wearing a coffee filter mask. Even a floor broker known as the Einstein of Wall Street is doing it. But you know who's not doing it? President Trump shook 10 hands on a single receiving line. You don't shake hands, they're not gonna like you too much. He says he's not taking protective measures, though he must at least be doing what Stephen Colbert did. Hey. If you're not into sanitizing, jokey alternatives range from the booty bump like. <laughs> to the foot bump uh, to the Vulcan salute and whatever you do. Start working on not touching your face Maybe you better start working on it. And I haven't touched my face in weeks. I miss it. You know what else is catchy? That Jeremy Penn used to sign the coronavirus spending bill. Uh, here, Steve, this is for you. <laughs> Tossed to an unsuspecting reporter, there are even pizza do's and don'ts. Don't lick your fingers and then touch the coffee lid. Do do the elbow bump while wearing a pizza mask. Though someone noted, is that the same elbow that everyone is supposed to cough and sneeze into? The Daily Show did a bit called Watch Those Hands. I've been looking around the room here. I can't tell you the number of you who've put your hands to your face in the last uh, 20 minutes. Go ahead, lecture us. Just be smart. Then rub it in. Genimo, CNN. Corona bump, my brother. New York. Thank you.